In today's interconnected world, everyone has value to share. As to In today's interconnected world, everyone has value to share. As technology continues to innovate exponentially, the need for computing resources is greater than ever. By opening a decentralized marketplace for computing assets, iExec resolves this critical need in the growing digital economy. Now you can share decentralized computing power, innovative applications, valuable data sets, and much more. Using an emerging technology called confidential computing, Assets traded on the marketplace can now be used on any computer connected to the network, even the ones you do not know or trust. At the same time, ownership and privacy of those assets is preserved. The iExec marketplace is a smart contract that acts as escrow anytime you need the network to exchange computing assets. Anyone can connect their computer to the marketplace to execute decentralized applications and earn RLC. Application and data providers can deploy and monetize these valuable assets on the network, getting paid each time they are used. These assets increase in value while being available for anyone to use. The RLC token on the Ethereum blockchain acts as payment between buyers and sellers on iExec. To ensure network consensus, RLC is also locked during computation by workers and pools. iExec opens new horizons of cooperation where anyone can benefit from computing assets without having to trust anyone else in the network. Join a new paradigm of shared innovation with iExec, the decentralized marketplace for computing assets. Hi, thanks for joining us today. I'm uh, Nelly, Head of Adoption at iExec, and today I'm here with Luis Carlos, Application Support Engineer. So what we're covering today, first of all, we're going to see uh, iExec in a nutshell. Then we're going to talk about the Oracle factory. What is it and how it works? Then we're going to show you how you can use it. And in the end, we're going to talk about uh, the more than 1 million US dollars we have in developer rewards. So as you could see uh, in the video, we are a marketplace for uh, computing assets where everybody can trade and monetize computing power, data sets, and applications. So we connect uh, resource providers with uh, resource users. And to ensure trust and security, we use blockchain and confidential computing. So uh, we are known uh, thanks to our marketplace. But uh, one of our products is the Oracle Factory. So now um, Luis Carlos is going to tell you everything you need to know about it. Thank you, Nelly. Hey, guys, how are you? We're pretty excited to show you uh, a new product that is focused and built on uh, the iXX stack. This is the Oracle factory. Oracles are much more than price feeds or just the result of a hockey game. They are powerful data that help close the gap between Web 2 and Web 3. Oracle factory is a flexible tool which I like to call a productivity tool that will allow you to just with a few copy pastes on a user interface to configure an Oracle in minutes. This is really important because all these applications that need specific data, such as you know, the Great Britain's live carbon intensity, the trading volume of an OpenSea NFT, or even centralized data sources as those provided by government APIs. So you guys think that we need more oracles? Web 2 and Web 3 really need to get together. And for that, I think like, look, we're in Denver. Wouldn't it be cool to have something that will allow us to, know, to get the snow of a slope here in Denver? So you could create something with it. Now here's the dashboard of how the Oracle uh, factory looks like. So you could create an Oracle to get a, a board A take price the latest flight status of a specific flight, or yesterday's flight's minus delay, again, on a specific flight. So there are many possibilities that can be opened with it. Take, for example, the centralized insurance and all the data points that you need in order to calculate the coverage. Um, here are some examples. Of, he also opened a bounty where you can apply and create a prediction market for any API that you would like to test. Now we're going to show you a video of how you can do it actually on or with Oracle Factory. 
today's interconnected world. Yep, not that one. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an oracle in less than 5 minutes with iExec Oracle Factory. One of the advantages of the Oracle Factory is that any oracle can be created from any API. The ability to create custom oracles is a game changer, since with other solutions, if they don't have the source data you need, you will need to make a request. First, go to the Oracle Builder and choose I want to propose a new API. Then, choose a name for your oracle and please try to be as descriptive as possible. Then, choose if you will be needing an API key. If that's the case, it will be protected using Intel's SGX technology. Then choose if you want your Oracle to be listed in the public gallery or do you want to keep it for yourself. Now, as with any HTTP request, we must choose the method for the call we're going to make. Typically, you will be making GET request, but other options like POST are also available. In this example, we're getting data from the US Energy Administration Open Data Platform. We'll be querying the latest annual Brent crude oil spot price. Don't worry, we have already registered and we have created the following request. Now just copy the URL and then paste it in the URL field. Remember that you're not supposed to share any of your private keys. So, we're going to use a placeholder in order to hide our API key. In this example, we're not using additional parameters in our request, so we'll just ignore the fields header HTTP and body. The next thing we need is to find the JSON path of the value we want to retrieve. A cool tool you can use is JSON Pathfinder. We will give you the link on the description. So, you will look for the path as you scroll down the fields. You go to Series, Data, 1, and 0 will give you the year, and 1 will give you the price. When you have the path leading to the value you want to retrieve, just click on Copy. Then paste it, respecting the expected format. In this case, we just need to replace the letter X with a dollar symbol. Then, choose the type of value, in this case, a number. Then, you can have a preview of the retrieved value. Click Next. Then, if you want, you can also check the smart contract. And now, your oracle will be created. Here, the progress bar indicates what is going on behind the scenes of the iExec infrastructure while the Oracle is being deployed. If you want to learn more about the technical details of every step of the Oracle creation process, we highly recommend that you read the video description. And voila! Congratulations, you have built your first Oracle. You can access it and share it using the link below. Great, so as you can see there, uh, what's really happening behind the scenes of this user interface? Uh, first, you saw some steps that were being done as the Oracle was being configured. So first, the API key is, is generated on the browser and it helps to encrypt the API key. Then um, this binary file that has been encrypted is pushed to IPFS. Secondly, the API ownership is defined uh, by an ERC-7021 which will give ownership to the API key of the data provider. Then the encryption key is pushed uh, over SSL to the secret management service, 
which will provide this key at execution runtime where the Oracle is being execute, executed. Um, finally, a cell data order is created and published in the IXEC marketplace. This cell order will define the characteristics of the application. That means that uh, your data, your API key, will only be run with the IXEC um, application that creates the Oracle. And it will be run in a trusted execution environment. Finally, um, this uh, other additional configuration is pushed through IPFS just to help uh, our backend. Um, but how does all fit into the IXEC marketplace? As we saw in the previous video, there's uh, three actors that are, uh, hap that are in the IXEC marketplace. The data owners, in this case, the API key providers. The application providers, which is, in this case is us who created this application that really just makes an API call and puts it back in the blockchain. And the computing resource providers, which are computers with Intel SGX technology that will download that application with that data, do the execution, and put the value on the blockchain. Now, once the Oracle has been created, you might ask yourself, then how do I use it in my smart contract? Well, the way to do that, uh, we have created a Medium post which describes all the steps that you need to do. But basically, it just works by pointing to the generic Oracle smart contract. You point to that, and you also provide the ID of the Oracle you have created. And then, as a result, you may get the um, date and the value that you requested for that Oracle. We have also created um, a small demonstration of an application built with Oracle Factory that uh, allows us to bet on whether a flight is going to take off or is going to be canceled. And just as a reminder, IXEC is just not Oracle Factory. It is a protocol that helps you build applications. So if you have other ideas of what things you can do, where you can monetize your data, your applications, or even just connect uh, to the network as a computing resource provider, then check out the Quick Start Guide for developers. Also, just join our official Discord. Come talk to us or boot. If you have any questions, well, come to us. We'll be glad to help you. Thank you. Thank you. We hope uh, you enjoy uh, this mini workshop. And if you have any question about IXEC or the Oracle Factory, please come say hi. We are on the third floor. And also, check out our developers reward program. We have more than $1 million US dollars to fund innovation using IXEC. Either you can claim one of our bounties on Gitcoin, or you can apply for the uh, bounties that we're offering this week uh, using the Oracle factory, or you can apply and propose a new project. The rewards can go from $700 uh, all the way to 200 k for startups. Thank you.